Oh my god, the pie on the thumbnail, it's really amazing. I need to click it. I need to click it. Oh hey, sorry, you, you caught me watching YouTube videos on my cell phone, sorry about that. But hey guys, have you ever wondered how you can actually really capture your audience's attention to click on your videos? I know you have, so before we start, click that like, sub, and gong that bell. Hey guys, my name is Nolden, welcome to Freedom Central, yay! The home of all freedom content. Here, we will be sharing best practices for you guys to practice on your channel and make a difference. Without further ado, Freedom Quick Tips. <laughs> Thumbnails are the first line of attraction viewers on YouTube can see to entice them to click on your videos and in order for you to get viewers on your channel. Basically guys, you need to have a really good thumbnail. Before we dive in deeper with this discussion, let us give you three basic principles that can guide you to create your thumbnail. Principle number one is our thumbnails accurately portray the content in the video. Number two, our thumbnails get our audience excited about watching the video. Number three, our thumbnails draw the attention of our audience. Now that you have the basic principles guys, you are ready to dive in deeper with the tactics. Let's dive. Boop. Use close-ups on faces, preferably making eye contact. Close-ups on your thumbnails make it more visible to your audience who you are. And depending on your expression, they will instantly know what kind of video it will be. Making eye contact on your thumbnail is also a good tactic to do in order for you to form a human connection with your audience. Number two, show strong emotion. Showing strong emotion can trigger a response in the human psyche that will make them feel genuinely curious on what the video is. These strong emotions are easily identifiable and it makes the viewer want to feel the kind of feeling you are feeling on your videos through empathy. Usually, empathy makes us more invested and connected with each other. Number three, use bright background. When you use bright colored background, it usually sets you apart from the non-bright colored thumbnails. Also, it will help you stand out with YouTube's white background. You can try the sunburst or pinwheel effect to get the maximum chances of getting your videos viewed. Number four, use contrast and outlines. This gives your subject more depth of field which makes it stand out even more. Hey guys, standing out is very crucial, so keep that in mind. Usage of text. Usually, the title is enough for the text, but in some circumstances, you can insert texts that are thought-provoking, making you stand out more on what you want to do on your videos. Bugs and branding. Bugs or watermark is a good tactic to make you stand out more as your audience will know automatically that you published that video. It's all about making your presence known and recognizable, Freedom Family. Consistency. In my opinion, this should be number one, as consistency is key to making yourself known to your audience. If they know your style, they can simply identify your videos, which in turn make you stand out above the clutter of videos out there. Design for the small screen. Studies show that viewers are using their mobile phones more often. It is only logical to also cater to the mobile platform as your audiences are using their smartphones on a daily basis. Choosing colors. Choose colors that complement each other as colors that match each other is very pleasing to the eyes. If you are not familiar to what colors are complementary, you can check out the color wheel on the internet. Usually, the color that you have picked, on the opposite side of the color wheel, that color complements the color of your choosing. Number 10, easy to see and understand. Your video should be entertaining, educational, motivational, and the like. Don't make your audiences think what you are doing in your videos. It is better if you show exactly what they will get when they view your videos. Keep it simple and sweet, guys. Number 11, represent the first 15 to 30 seconds of a video. We do not want to mislead our audiences when they click on our videos. So it's better if the promise of the thumbnail comes in the first 15 to 30 seconds of the video. Avoid placing anything important in the lower right hand corner. You might not notice it, but you might have put there information on your thumbnails, but since it's obscured, it may not be able to be seen by your audiences. Number 13, analyze your competition. Whatever your content is, there will be competition. In every genre or content, you will encounter people having the same content as you. It's good practice to analyze your competition and try to mix and match your thumbnail to make sure you stand out amongst your competition. Play to your strength. That's the episode of Freedom Family. I hope you guys liked it. What tactic do you think resonates with you more? Let us know down below. Also, do you have other tips to share on how to make a thumbnail? Share them down below so that we can learn from each other. 
Oh yeah guys, these tips came actually from TubeFilter and Frederator. Thank you for creating an awesome article about thumbnails. Looking forward for more useful tips in the future. Before you leave guys, don't forget to smash that like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Gong! My name is Nold guys, bringing you quick tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom, quick tips.